Hello guys and welcome back to Cabin and Cockpit. Today you can follow us during an outside check of a commercial airliner and of course learn what pilots need to take care about during a walk around. What you have to check during the whole walk around is if there are any scratches or dents in the aircraft skin. Let's start with the nose gear. Here you make sure that the condition of the tires is good, that there is no leakage from the hydraulic lines and of course there is no damage to the landing strut. On the forward side check if the ground locking pin, which would prevent the gear from retracting is removed and the condition of the lights. Now you should focus on checking that no probes are blocked as they are crucial for the speed and altitude measurements and there is no damage to the nose section of the aircraft. Later on verify the left hand probes are fine as well. While walking towards the wing have a closer look that the ram air turbine is safely stowed and check if all air inlets are free. As you are approaching the wing, make sure the landing light is in a proper condition and the leading edge is without dents. And we are at the engine. Again as always, check for dents and while standing on the side of it, also check if there is oil spillage on the ground. Thereafter the air inlet has to be checked carefully, if there are any obstructions and of course if the fan and the blades are in a proper condition. In windy conditions as today, it is normal that the fan is turning, which is called windmilling. At the back of the engine, you verify again that there is no fuel or oil remainder somewhere. The next part is the right hand main landing gear. As well as on the front wheel, you need to take a closer look on the condition of the tires and the landing strut. After this, a short look into the landing gear bay assures nothing will obstruct the landing gear while retracting. Now take a closer look if the brakes are in a good condition. This is indicated by the so-called brake pins, which need to be visible. Eventually, you should verify once again that there is no leakage on the hydraulic lines. During walking around the wing, as always make sure there are no dents and scratches. At the end of it, take a closer look if the navigation light is working and all static discharge wicks are in place. While walking back, take care that the flight control surfaces and the flaps have no damage. Finally, you should have a look at the condition of the stabilizer of the aircraft and, once again, that the static discharge wicks are in position. Moreover, the control surfaces and the exhaust gas outlet of the auxiliary power unit have to be checked. Now the explanation for the right hand side is done which means it is fully your turn now to check the left hand side as you basically need to look at the same things as on the right hand side. I will leave you alone now until the end of the video. Check carefully and let us know in the comments if you found something unusual on the left hand side or not.
Congratulations for learning and finishing the outside check on the Embraer 190. We hope you enjoyed this video and especially you were able to learn something. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us. Thank you very much for watching.